Mother Nature's big surprise for the East Coast. Look at that, that 4.8 earthquake and the aftershocks overnight. I texted you both when I felt it on my yep. couch. <laughs> the U.S. Geological Survey said over 42 million people might have felt Friday's earthquake. Daily routines were interrupted by a serious case of the shakes. You're about to look at some wild footage of earthquakes happening all over the world. And it's significant because the Bible actually prophesies earthquakes will happen in the end times. It will increase with one dramatic one taking place. Check this out. Can you imagine being on a bridge and it just starts shaking because an earthquake is happening? I'm from Florida and I actually have never experienced an earthquake ever, but I keep hearing about earthquakes happening all over the place. Is the world actually ending? My answer might surprise you. The Bible says that in the last days, there will be specific signs that reveal the end of the earth. Right now, if you've paid attention to anything on the news, there's wars, rumors of wars, there's famines and earthquakes, and most recently, we're seeing news about the collapse of the U.S. dollar. This is all a part of the Antichrist agenda to get the entire world under a one-world ruler, a one-world government, a one-world money system, a one-world military, and eventually a one-world religion. But the good news is the Antichrist does not prevail, and Jesus is coming back for his church. Here's what the Bible says about all of this, and this was written, what, 2,000 years ago. Matthew 24, Jesus speaking, Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth pains. It's clear that we're seeing this all over the place. We're seeing the world shake physically, spiritually, emotionally, politically, financially. But I want you to watch one more video about a massive earthquake, and then I want to read to you a verse from the book of Revelation about this. Here's what would happen if a magnitude 20 earthquake shook the earth. A naturally occurring magnitude 20 earthquake is actually impossible, as Earth's circumference isn't big enough to produce this strong of an earthquake. However, one way that a magnitude 20 quake could occur would be because of a massive asteroid impact. You would feel the shaking for at least five minutes and aftershocks would go on for hours. It would trigger tsunamis and volcanic eruptions, not to mention even more earthquakes. A magnitude 20 earthquake would produce more than enough energy to overcome the gravitational binding energy and would literally destroy our planet. Here's what Revelation 6 says. I watched as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair. The whole moon turned blood red. We're seeing earthquakes now, but the Bible talks about a massive earthquake taking place. Whether it's from an asteroid or some supernatural force, we all know that if a small earthquake can cause massive damage, only imagine a magnitude 20 earthquake or more. The Bible also says everything that can be shaken will be shaken. And we see everything being shaken now. 
If we could be honest with ourselves, we would simply see the writing on the wall. All of us. If we would get our head out of all the distractions, we could see the signs of the times. That everything is being put into place for the Antichrist to rise to power. Everything is taking place for the end of the end, where Jesus comes back. And many people are waking up to that reality. They're seeing what's taking place and they're taking note. And my encouragement to you all, 1 Peter 1, 3, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. As the world sleeps in sorrow, we have the light of life and the hope of the resurrection. And not only the resurrection, but the return of Jesus. While people are distraught and left without hope, you can walk with the light. You can walk with the truth, revealing to those around you of the hope of Jesus. Jesus, and that everything that's happening right now was already prophesied by the Son of God 2,000 years ago. None of this is new to him because he saw it from the beginning. He knew what would happen on the earth. He knew what sin would do in the hearts of men. Be encouraged. Be blessed. The world is shaking, but Jesus will never fall. God bless you.